So, uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm glad to be uh, here with you, and I would like to thank the committee organization to, um, for inviting me. I would like to say before I started that I am not a scientific director of the Pierre and Marie Curie University, as is writing. I am only an archaeologist and wood anatomist. So, uh, let us start uh, today uh, speaking about the wood of two Chinese manuscripts coming from Don Juan and conserved in the National Library of France. So, during the 19th century, France launched a growing number of expeditions to the various regions of Asia, from Vietnam to Himalayas. These expeditions began as largely geographical and scientific explorations, creating new roads and collecting botanical and geological samples. As the century progressed, the expeditions became increasingly multidisciplinary and include the cultural dimensions of current and previous civilizations. A huge quantity of findings were regularly sent back to Paris for research, expanding and consolidating the knowledge in botany, geology, topography, cartography, ethnography, archaeology, and linguistics. These explorers opened the way for the Silk Road excavations by Paul Pelliot and others at the turn at the beginning of the 20th century. In 1901, France created the French school, Ecole Française d'Extreme Orient, to research the region's archaeological and linguistic heritage. Sinologist Paul Pelliot was on the staff, and in 1905, he was chosen by French government and scholars to lead an expedition to the Kucha Oasis and Dunhuang. Peliot spoke fluent Chinese and several regional languages and took responsibility for the expedition's archaeological, historical, and linguistic aspects. He was in the company by an army doctor, which is Louis Vaillant, responsible for topography, astronomy, and natural history, and accompanied also by the photographer uh, Charles Nouet. They left Paris in June 1906, and the first destination at the end of August 1906 was Kashgar. During six weeks of excavation in Kashgar, Peliot collected manuscripts from the three caves and some ruins. On October, the expedition traveled eastwards from Kashgar to Kucha, and after eight months in Kucha, they passed via Uromki to Don Juan. And, and in Don Juan, they will remain until June 1908. They explored about 500 caves located at 25 kilometers southeast of Dunhuan city. The caves of a thousand Buddhas containing paintings from the fourth century until Dynasty Tang. Mogo uh, caves as the largest treasure for this kind of um, uh, cave art in China. UNESCO included in the list of war heritage in 1987. Pelio and uh, Nuet were allowed to enter the library, the library cave, number 16, and uh, they found a thousand of manuscripts in Chinese, Tibetan, Sanskrit, and Uyghur, as well as large paintings on silk, hemp, and paper. Peliot was allowed to spend uh, several weeks, three complete weeks, uh, in order to collect uh, some of the very important manuscripts, and he chose uh, a series of religious, secular, and local texts 
which he judged to contain new information or to be linguistic interest. He also collected statues and paintings on silk. Once in Paris, the books and the manuscripts were sent to the National Library and the order of findings, statues, uh, objects, and so on, were kept on the Louvre Museum, later transferred to the Guimet Museum. The French Museum of Natural History uh, received specimens including 800 plants, 200 birds, mammals, insects, and geological specimens. Sometime after uh, Pelliot returned to Paris, he began to make um, an initial inventory of the Chinese manuscripts, completed in 1920 and translated in Chinese in 1923. The Chinese manuscript collections came mainly uh, from the Dunhuang Library Cave and contains many secular texts a basis uh, for the development of economic, social, and legal history of medieval China. So, the National Library asked me to analyze the wood of two scrolls. In this kind of manuscripts, uh, we can found a thin uh, wood stick, about 20 to uh, 30 uh, centimeters long, and one uh, centimeter of diameter located in one part of the manuscript in order to roll the text and make it easy the lecture, the reading. The two scrolls uh, we examined are the Peliot Chinese uh, number uh, 2547 and 2490. They are supposed to be from Tang Dynasty, 8th and 10th century respectively. At the moment, a radiocarbon is made in the National Research Museum Center in Paris in order to confirm this chronology. Both of them are real very important documents uh, for the history in Don Juan at that time. One is a religious text and the other is an account of agriculture, especially for the division in the land in Don Juan vicinity. So, French Library was interested to know the nature of wood. Dunhuan, as you know, is a small oasis town in Gansu province. He was found at this military place in Han Dynasty, 100 BC, to defend China against the occidental regions. Dunhuan is the most important city on the Silk Road itinerary, with three roads to the west, created in dynasty Han and Tang. As the commercial activity was so intense at the time, French National Library want to know if the wood is a local species or imported in order to understand if our small fragments were made at Dunhuang or came from abroad. Nunhuan is located in a desert area in the Gansu Corridor. This area is under the influence of cold and high pressure. This area cons consists mainly in a floating dunes. Because of the depth of the underground water, salt content in water and different types of the deserts, the types of the vegetation differ to and we can found almost five communities which are dom dominated by Populus, Aloxylon, Eleagnus, Tamarix species, and Caragna in association with Caligonum, Artemisia, or Salix. The wood of the manuscripts are very well preserved because of the dry climate condition. The sampling was a little complicated because of the small size of the, of the sticks and the fact that they were covered by lacquer. I am not going to speak about the wood determination itself, but my conclusion is the identification of tamaric species for both manuscripts. 
Tamarix is naturally distributed on sand dunes and sand banks in the Don Juan vicinity. The identification of the Woods manuscripts seems to confirm a local manufacture for the two documents conserved in French National Library. A lot of Tamarix species can be found in China and in Don Juan area. I think the, the wood of the two roles study can be, anatomically speaking, Tamarix ramosissima and or Tamarix taclamacanensis. But I hope the discussions with Professor Ito, Lida Gang, and Pao Bao can be precise, these identifications. The wood of these two roles are the first step on a larger program about uh, 2,000 more roles to study. So we only started. And so now I'm finished with uh, Don Juan area, but I would like to keep to, uh, your attention for uh, only two more minutes. I would like to show you our very last discoveries just the last month in Egypt, in the region of Saqqara, which is very new. It's a mission of the Louvre Museum. And as you can see, we discovered this time one tomb with containing a lot of mummies, a lot of coffins. You can see how was the destruction. You can see also the coffins are with the mummies and with the flowers perfectly conserved. This is the same dry climate conditions that we can find at Dun Juan and almost the same vegetation, the same type of communities can be found around in North Egypt. A very beautiful mask coming out just for the land. A different types of coffin with a different type types of wood. Oh, some is small. You can see the colors are like made yesterday. It was the tomb known uh, without uh, spelling before in the past. Our conclusion for the wood is tamaric shakasha, something quite normal. You can see how happy, happy we are working there. And this is the work for the next year. Just come. Thank you very much for your attention, please. I'm from Korea. Uh, show me the, again the, your the French slide, the uh, mixed the French or the uh, Chinese. French and Chinese mixed the, the characters there. Is a line the two is a who? Oh. It is the French tr transcription, it's a uh. French text, so it's not pinyin, so uh, <laughs> only I'm the confused. French. I'm confused can. that the pronunciation is the, it's a similar to Korean, the, uh, the pronunciation, so I'm um, so the doubt about that nearly the come from the Chinese, China, uh, so <laughs> I'm doubt that one, sir. Uh, and also was the work at Paul Pelliot in 1920. Uh -huh. So even in French translation, I think there must be some progress. Uh, okay, I'm confused that one. So the, well, I want to pronounce it as a similar to Bo and Mu is the similar. So <laughs> I'm doubt that one. So. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your presentation, and thank you for your interest into our China history. And I know your, your presentation, the main purpose of your study is to find the manuscript is no care or in other places. That's right? The manuscript is not? Is, is, is made in no good places or in other places. This is your, pur this is your main purpose of your study? This is your, the objective. Uh, objective of your study is to find the manuscript is made in no places or in other places. Uh, uh, my, my conclusion for the moment is the manuscript is a local... Your main purpose. But I, I question is, 
If the what's the difference? If the manuscript is made in local or in other places, what's the difference to your research? Ah, because as this, uh, um, for example, in the case of a religious text, uh, you can. Sinologist told me that this this is not a local. Uh, how to say? Uh, you can see that the local ideas, yeah, it's different to have the idea itself that the ideas come from abroad. The, how to say, um, they mean, for example, in the case of the development of the land, the division of the land, we are almost sure, if it's local, that they spoke about the very close vicinity on Don Juan. That is not a text uh, speaking from the division of the land in Beijing or I say anything in any place. This makes a difference for the uh, road trades, the kind of uh, commerce they have, what they imported, what they need, but this is only a first step, so we, we need to make a more analysis in order to make conclusions. Okay, that's the uh, same factor we put again for uh, extended presentation. Thank you.